So let me flip that coin. That goes back to prior discussions that we had about that being a bad contract. Let's touch on the humanity of things nature wise. If you were to flip the coin, would you say it's natural by nature standards for us to be monogamous? I would say no. I would say that through time we grew civil and we we go by a certain archetype and uh, principles given through generations that this is the way that you're supposed to conduct yourselves and the lie is saying that I'm going to be faithful to one while I'm suppressing my feelings and lying to myself. That's Pardon why you me. have that. Why would you why would you get into a marriage if you feel like you got to suppress your feelings in the way you want to be? Bruiser, you don't look at a woman, no part of your marriage and feel some type of way or see an attraction. Yeah. Are you not suppressing that feeling? Because in admittance of what you just did, you you actually committed an act of adultery. Yes or no? Nope. I I I see women all the all the time in the gym. That's attractive. That don't mean I gotta I I gotta you, break my vows. You did. No, you, I didn't. You, I never broke my vows. I never I never looked at her in a way that I wanted to have sex with her. I I just recognize her as a beautiful person, recognize attraction, and I keep it moving. A lot of times when I come in and I lift weights, I lift weights, and then I just go to the gym and I shoot ball and I just keep it moving. Shan, don't make that face. But but to <laughs> but to Trav's point earlier, man, I think a lot of people are are just taking the the default vows that come with every marriage and not really thinking that, hey, look, you can actually change those things. You actually create your own vows and give your the woman that you want to marry an understanding of you know your brown your boundaries or deal breakers or things that you don't want to put up with. And that's why I said if you if you get to a situation where she becomes uncooperative. That means that you didn't you you didn't make her aware that hey look these are some of the things that you know we don't need to cross these this is a path we don't need to cross and if we cross this path then you shouldn't look at me crazy if I'm going to go do paperwork on you. You know what so, I'm saying? So what keeps you from honestly? What keeps you from? It's it's the the marriage contract that keeps you from fulfilling those those urges that you do suppress because no it's it's a thing that God gave all men and all women it's the most powerful thing our word okay so our words say, me from it. I okay, gave it wrong word I'm glad you said that so eloquently I was waiting for the Bible reference to get thrown in there and then I love that reference of King Solomon so now. I could ask Rilla, uh, how many wives and concubines did he have? And when did it become wrong? Who, me or Solomon? Solomon. Oh, I don't know, hundreds? I don't know, maybe thousands, I don't know. I don't remember the exact number he had. So now, when did when 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 did the text change and it became you to have one and he had many? What text? You talking about scripture? Yeah, because he brought in the Bible. I didn't bring in the Bible. Yes, you did. Did he I say the Bible? Bible? He didn't bring in the, a specific text, but go ahead. <laughs> you did bring in the Bible because I said, what keeps you from breaking breaking your vow? You said your belief in what? I no, said my said word. word. He said his word. Like, uh -huh. Yeah, but he, but you said God gave us all this most powerful thing. That's the part that yes, you yeah, did. That ain't that ain't got to do with saying it. like my word as a man. Really, word is fine. Really, one second. Would you say, uh, Darwin? Say what? Would you say in response to Shannon? I said that that I didn't quote any scriptures or any Bible. But what did you imply? I believe that the, high, the the person who created men and women. No, you say it was the most powerful thing in the world. God, it's, right? it's our tongue. You said God, right? Yep. You call it okay. God, you call it Almighty, you can call it Allah, you can call no, it Jesus, no, no, whatever no, you want. No, no, no. We're gonna stay right where you at, and then you, you're gonna get held to your word because I'm listening. Well, hold on, hold on. But regardless of the fact, 
the point that I made about me keeping my word still is still in the, is enough for me to justify me not deviating from what I said I wanted to do by keeping I my never, word. I, I never questioned that. Okay, so, so that that was your question. That no, was your initial question. Wait, wait. Are you telling me? Or yeah, that's wait, the, wait. that's the question I answered. That was your initial question. Was how okay, do I? Okay. Just you gave me, me a scenario of let's, suppression, suppressing my, be, my sexual okay. needs and desires. Okay, wait, wait, Darwin, let's be nice to each other. You said God. So now God encompasses what tenets from what book? Your values. You use God as your as your as your your benchmark for your values, yes? Yep. Some from values, yeah. From what book? From some values. Yeah, I, I, I done read the Bible, I done read the Quran. I read many books that reference God. But I wasn't talking, I wasn't speaking about a specific scripture. But Darwin, what is your point, though? Darwin, you got on your wingtips. You're not Muslim. Okay, what, what is your you? point? Can, can you make your point? I just did, and you're dancing. You made your point, and you referenced Chicago Real saying when was the text change. But Solomon, I'm trying to speed you back up to where you left off. So For, no. for the sake of people watching. no. You said, when was the text change? What is the no, text change about anything to do with? Is being facetious because you use God as that thing, referencing the Bible as for why you stay. Okay, so you are you are okay, you saying I, because I the text the didn't change that it's okay to be- Allow me to finish the sentence blinking. as for why you suppress your feelings that are naturally given to you to, to not be monogamous. You said, want me to tell you why I done the it? values of the Bible and the God that you follow because I have the choice to this whole, gave, this whole this whole this whole this whole damn live stream today been based off of your choice and it keeps coming back to that okay and he just made it and that the, the pastor I don't know if that's a pastor now I think he is a pastor his whole premises on his whole statement was making a choice in the beginning okay and you bold face lied to us talk about you look at women in the gym and you don't see anything that moves you that's why every gentleman on here was like come on now okay so be honest you, hold on wait what do you mean by move you? What, do you, what do you mean by move you because I'm, I'm just trying to get an understanding of you calling me a bold face lie based off my statement what do you mean by move me because i did Dude. state that i see women that are attractive but I don't look at them in a suggestive manner that I want to have sex. I don't take out their clothes with my imagination in my eyes and see myself penetrating them. So what do you mean by I said a both I sit up here and said a both face lie by when I look at women in the gym, they don't move. I know, what I do know you mean the by they move? I, 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 I propose to you and you you just danced around it. But then I gave you another reference, being that you didn't want to do that and you wanted to cha-cha slide off of it. You use as guided your pendulum as for why you stay devoted and faithful. Then I, I think, said, I okay, think, I think you have that. a clear understanding of my response to all of your questions. Oh. I think it's just, I think it tickles you to keep trying to nitpick every single word and time and out terminology that don't sit parallel to yours. Just no. for, uh, I think, entertainment or edutainment, some may say. Okay, so to, that, counter, that to, counter, to counter that, I place facts in front of you. You place feelings in front of me. I gave you a reference to the Bible of King Solomon. When okay. did your the good book tell you that you should have one wife? Since since you're so... And we got to make sure we shut up. Yeah. Faith. First of all, the reason why I got one wife wasn't because of the good book. Now that changes things, right? No. You, you. Well, let me let me just say this real quick. Um, I know you, you you know you're referencing the Bible and and kind of how that plays into it and about Solomon having seven hundred wives, three hundred concubines, or something like that. But you also got to read about what he talked about at the end of his life. Because he said all of these things that I had, all this money that I had, these women, like it was all vanity. It was all it was all for nothing. And he he started talking about love as being the most important thing that there is. So, you know, just because he he we, we shouldn't look at him as a role model because he had all of those things, because he talked about what was important you know, like towards the end. Nelson, you're correct. Look what you just did. You rebutted my point because I've read the Bible 
and I know how it referenced out to his last days. But then I initially started was by nature saying, should we be monogamous or should we be monogamous by the standards of nature? And I said, in my opinion, I feel not. I feel that due to us civilizing ourselves over time, that this became a certain standard over here. Like when we had the brother at Kenny up here, he feels different. In Nigeria, in those places, they have as many wives as they can take care of. So now, what really makes us right standard wise? So now, if I lean toward that way of living, now, I mean, I'm taking on as much as I can deal with. That's not monogamy. But they have thriving civilizations that adhere to that type of lifestyle and communities. So now, we're dissecting too, east and west. So what makes this the end all to be all? If I could use that as an example, as for like, mm -mm. if I was to live over there and grew up over there, I'm no longer monogamous. Yeah. So, I mean, at the end of the day, it comes down to what standards you decide to live by. What's your, Choice. what your foundation is. And for right. Bruiser, he, I understand what he was talking about. He was like, well, the reason that he doesn't step out is because he has a, he placed a strong emphasis on vows or hit or keep being a man of his word so integrity so that's you know that's what keeps him at the end of the day from from stepping out so i you know i don't i i don't think that's directly you know reference like he was referencing directly from the bible and that although it is a biblical principle okay you see how you answered me you gave me a proper rebut thinking that I am trying to get some some weird freakish uh, thrill out of holding you to what you say. Just as if I say something, I'm open for correction. But I am up. I'm in front of the congregation, too. OK, why did you say this? And this is how I feel about that. That's why we have a panel. You understand what we we're not going to agree on everything, but if I put facts on the table and you put feelings more so, and I reference things and the things that you're devoted to, and then you go toward ignorance as of saying I'm picking at you rather than rebutting the point, that's where we have the lapse in communication. I think you're the one who coming out with the feelings. I just told you that I use my word and I, I, I go off my word. I walk by my word. Uh, it ain't got nothing to do with and when you state, you say you state facts, what did you state that was a fact? A scripture about Solomon? What did I state if you were paying attention rather than trying to open I'm just trying. I'm just trying, to, I'm just trying to get us to an understanding so we can move on. Okay, I mean, like Nelson, I think Nelson and Trevor even agreed with me when I was stating in the very beginning of this topic that a man should be honest about how he want to move. And if he don't want to be in a monogamous relationship or he don't want to be committed, he shouldn't. He should communicate and that. And that's the first up point I referenced. And, I also, it. and I also stated that he shouldn't feel feel like an asshole or feel like a jerk just because he's expressing how he truly feels. I said women women are able to do it. Men are able to do it. I didn't quote any scripture or any Bible. I just I'm just saying this is how you should move based on your own morality, your own morals. That 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 shows you.